guys i told you this dish is very medicinal mm? this cartoon kuma cures very many diseases i think what the cause is hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel it's me your aunt and this is the dish that i'm going to and this particular one is a traditional dish and it is a sauce, such a traditional sauce. It is cooked using katunkuma, so we are cooking this katunkuma sauce for that case. Eh? So before we show you the katunkuma is here, but let me show you where do we get it from. Eh? So let's go and see the katunkuma and see how it looks like. The adults are watching but they don't know how the katunkuma tastes looks like and it's still how did you get this one how did you cook them so let's go see the cartoon so guys this is the cartoon kumaki we have very many by the way here this one is given in the compound like you can see so it's a matter of just getting something like this at mm, the whole of it eh, as you feel there's no much about it so we take it from here by the way all this was in this one one plant yeah? so let's go see how do we prepare them to make our soap so after picking after picking them we go ahead and we prepare them or we clean them so we are removing this this part of it we are removing it Whether when you are cleaning them, sometimes you see that there are some insects. But for us, we don't mind those insects, by the way, guys. We just eat. Those are proteins. Eh? <laughs> I think the English name for this cartoon kuma, they are bitter berries. Are they bitter berries? Hmm? Hmm. So these ones, I think they are the bitter, bitter berries. Eh? I'm not sure, by the way, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. That's what I think. So here we are cooking katunkuma sauce. You, you enjoy it, guys. You enjoy that sauce. So healthy, so medicinal. By the way, katunkuma is so medicinal. Eh? For us, where we grew up from, I grew up with my grandmother, but almost every meal had this. Couldn't miss a meal with any vegetable, but most of the times that for me I used to see this. Eh? I used to see katun kuma and these herbalists or people who are selling food, healthy food there. Eh? They also say it is so good. Eh? By the way, you can as well make it into powder form and then you keep adding in the food as you eat your, like every meal. Every And this thing, by the way, you get from the katunkuma, they tell us you do not just scatter them anyhow. That's why we are, as we are removing, we are keeping them in one place. Eh? That if a boy jumps them, something happens to his private parts. Eh? That what they swell, they become big. Guys, have you heard about that? <laughs> Let me know if you have heard about that. Eh? But that's the belief we have here in, in our village. Eh? That if you leave a boy to jump this thing, his private things, they become, they, like they swell, eh? So as you are doing this, you have to be very, very, very careful, eh? Not to scatter them anyhow. So guys, we are preparing where to cook our cartoon kuma from. They are here, they are ready. We've managed to get to this. Can you see? They are quite... To this, we are going to. By the way, I would have cooked them on top of the other food, but the pot where I'm cooking from is small, so I'm going to cook them separate. Eh? Like, if you are cooking, let's say, your carbohydrate food from a big saucepan or a big pot, you can always put them on top. Eh? But since where I'm cooking my carbohydrate from is small, I'm putting I'm cooking them separately. So we are cooking them from here. This is a banana fiber for those who may not be knowing. This one is a banana fiber, so we are going to fry them. So we 
They don't take long to cook. That's one thing I know. So we go ahead and tie. Here we go. So now, guys, we've covered with enough banana leaves. And to prevent the steam from escaping or for our food to cook faster, we are going to cover with this other saucepan. Unfortunately, we have one place where we cook, and here it is. Here we are still cooking the food which is going to be eaten with that sauce. So we are going to wait for the food to get ready, and then we put the sauce. We shall keep it here in the side to keep warming. Yeah, yeah so let's wait. Cooking the katunkuma here until it is ready. Once it's ready, you are going to take it to the next step. And our food is ready here. It's ready. It's here, cooked. So, the meanwhile, let me be working on the rest of the ingredients. Guys, if you watched my video when I was preparing liver sauce, I showed you this. That for us here in my village, we first soak our tomatoes in the what? In the charcoal dust there. Eh? And I told you that it helps remove the pesticides there. Eh? Go ahead and you work on these tomatoes. By the way, Katunkuma doesn't take long to get ready. So that's why I'm working on these ones. Reduce on the bitterness of the bitter tomatoes or Katunkuma we put enough tomatoes for that case. That's why I am cutting all these ones. So to this, we are going to add the onion. Guys, like I told you that these things, the ones we removed from the bitter tomatoes or from katunkuma that they are bad if boys keep them. So, this is what we do. You get a plate, like in between this banana plant. That's where we, we dispose them. Eh? Give this video a like, guys. Give this video a like. So, these are our onions. We have such small onions, guys. Where are you watching from? These ones are small. We call these ones the local ones. Eh? But they have a strong flavor. So we also have our carrots. It's crooked. <laughs> yes, we are going to use it. So guys, our cartoon kuma is ready. We can place the saucepan here. We are going to use this saucepan which has been on top to cook the sauce. Guys, we are not frying. We are not frying. We are just cooking these ingredients until they are soft. So now we can go ahead and add our katunkuma. Oh, I try to tie. Hope they don't pour. Then. 
Guys, I told you this dish is very medicinal. Mm? This katunkuma cures very many diseases. I think well, because it's bitter, I think because it's bitter. Mm? See, guys. Whether if you want, you can fancy crush or mash the katunkuma alone. Eh? To this, we are adding our carrots. These are the carrots. So we are adding water. This is the water. Until our sauce is ready. Okay. Forgotten adding our curry powder, so we are adding a little bit of it. Just a little. So, friends, our sauce is ready. By the way, I didn't taste salt. This is how we taste salt here in our village. Just put here, then you do it. Mmm, it is the salt, guys. Just love the bitterness. Woo! <laughs> so, time for eating, guys. Let's go and eat. Guys, it is time for eating. Come we eat. Come we eat, guys. Are you seeing that first? Ooh. But some bit at the time. You know, the good thing about this combination, this is a little bitter, this is sweet. Yeah? The, it is the magic, guys. Just imagine, are you seeing our sweet potatoes, guys? This you can have it with this sauce. Just notice, so, so magical. Yes? I just love everything. Maybe what we do, you take a bite from this and then you get the sauce, just like this. For watching, if you are my new viewer, please consider subscribing to my channel, turn on the notification bell for new video updates, and if you are my returning beautiful subscriber, Thank you, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Thank you so much, guys. See you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye-bye.